Hey golf people, are you ready for a driver battle? This is a semi-final match featuring the Cobra LTD-X and the Torredge Exotics C722. We're on our way to crowning the best driver of 2022. These two drivers go head to head here to settle the score. Let's do it. Guys, I've got both drivers set up the same. Both are at 10 and a half degrees. I think I have the exact same shaft on each as well. Yes, I do. The hazardous 60 gram blue smoke. Beautiful, beautiful, kind of low spinning, lower trajectory, but with that 10 and a half, man, do these things fly and they roll out. There you see the Torridge Exotics. Also nine and a half to driver turned up one degree. There it is on the Torridge Exotics, same exact shaft. The balls marked with a green dot on them will be reserved for the Cobra. That way we can tell which one is which. And we'll also have our Garmin G80 to give us the shot data as well as measuring all of the shots here on course. Let's go ahead and put these two drivers to the test. All right, up first here is the beautiful Tour Edge Exotic. That's a good start. <laughs> Club head speed 96, ball speed 137, smash 1.42, estimated carry and roll 227. interesting because it went off the toe there club head speed 94 ball speed 136 smash 1.45 but even going off the toe really got up in the air and still had a nice little draw to it wouldn't have been able to tell where i hit that ball if you were just looking at it from behind 226 estimated carry and roll now that one I had more clubs head speed, 99, ball speed 138, smash 140, SMA carry and roll 231. It went a little left, but I think it's still in the fairway, pretty big fairway here. I'm switching over to the Cobra now. Good start with the Cobra. That's right down the middle, right at that tree. Club head speed 96, ball speed 138, smash 1.44, SMA carry and roll 231. one off the heel and low but again very forgiving club head speed 95 ball speed 135 smash 1.41 estimated carry and roll 223 one more here that one off to the right club head speed 94 ball speed 137 smash 1.46 estimated carry roll 229 that last cobra i fear is in the water all right, so we're going to pick up the balls that are in the fairway and then we'll analyze things here. Coming up to the balls here, we've got sitting at 245, no, 246. That's a Cobra. Just ahead of it, right in the middle of the fairway, 248. That's a Torridge Exotics, 249 actually. This one was a little bigger swing speed with the Torridge Exotics, 250. This one, really good, 253, that's a Cobra. Again, you can see where I'm at. And then we've got one ball way up there, biggest drive. That's gonna be the Torridge Exotics, 265. Now 266, wow. Well guys, I would say that the Torridge Exotics likely took a little bit of a roll on that card path. It didn't hit the card path, because I saw that in the air, but it must have got a little extra help. I'm surprised it would be that far especially on a miss hit but again let's be very clear about just how good that miss hit was and cobra's miss hit too the one that went left pretty darn good and pretty long all in all i think i would give that hole probably to the torridge exotics here just a reminder on how we score things we've got the category of distance five points we've got accuracy and forgiveness five points We've got value, three points. We've got workability, one point. And we've got looks, feel, and sound, one point as well. All right, so let's go ahead and score the value category here, guys. I am gonna go ahead and call this one a wash, and here's why. The Cobra LTD-X is $499 at retail with a stock shaft. Torridge Exotic C722 at $429 at retail with a stock shaft. Both of them great prices. You'd think I'd give the edge to the Torridge Exotics here. However, the Cobra does have that Arco system 
that comes standard. And when you've got the Arcos grip, you can then order the other 13 grips for your clubs and have access to that system, which is a pretty awesome value. So three points for each of these drivers, both of them really packed with value. All right, test two here. We're gonna look at workability here in this test. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit the Cobra first. We're gonna see if I can move this ball left to right. I find this driver, not only in this test, but in other tests I've done and timed down on this course to be very workable. Now let's see what the Torridge Exotic C722 can do. Great little power fade there. Definitely not as pronounced as the Cobra. That one, I got a little bit more into it. I would say both of these drivers are pretty workable. I think the Cobra just has it beat just by a hair. From all the testing that I've done, it puts a little bit more action on the ball. Now, does that mean that forgiveness and accuracy goes in the Torridge Exotics category? I'm just not yet ready to call that one, but we can go ahead and give one point here for workability to the Cobra. All right, guys, next test here. We've got a slight dog leg right, but really super wide open. The wind is in our face, so we're going to really have to hit it here. Let's see what these drivers can do. First up is the Cobra. Oh, that's funny. Club head speed 97, smash factor 1.47, ball speed 143, estimated carry and roll 244. It might be less because we got 15 miles an hour in our face. Oh, again. Fantastic strike there. Club head speed 96, ball speed 141, smash factor 1.46. I can feel it. SMA carry and roll 239. Going to the Tour Edge Exotic C722 now. Just a little left of those other ones, but a great drive there as well. Club head speed 97, ball speed 138, smash 1.42, estimated carry and roll 230. Next one. trajectory and out to the right there club head speed 94 ball speed 141 smash 1.49 estimated carry and roll 239 let's go find those things moving into the category of looks feel and sound both of them feel very good when they hit the ball i'd say the slight edge there goes to the tour edge exotics you get just a little bit more feedback on your contact there Cobra is really good, let's say 98% of it. I personally, it's subjective, but I personally like the looks of the Cobra just, again, very slightly more. In terms of sound, I also like the sound of the Cobra just ever so slightly more. Such a subjective category. I would probably give the edge to the Cobra just, just by a hair there, but uh, very close. Guys, how about this team of balls? We got one there, three in the fairway there, it's gonna be close, very, very close here. Let's get our me shot measurement up here. We're at 231. Again, this is dead into the wind, guys. That's a Torridge Exotics. That's where we're at. At 223, that's our other Torridge Exotics. Wasn't complete center contact, I will say that. Now, if we go into the middle of the fairway we've got our cobras these were both great shots in terms of trajectory and again into this wind it's a pretty good wind 220 dead middle of the fairway one last one this is our best drive on this hole well not for distance though not for distance 230 that's the cobra and there we are now club head speed on that one torridge exotics that went one yard further was also a little more again there's not much between these two drivers both in terms of accuracy and in terms of distance this is going to be tough way 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 tougher than i thought it was going to be let's go to the next hole i finally got a hole with some wind 
behind me, which is a welcomed sight. We're gonna see some longer distances here. I'm gonna hit four balls this time and we will play it again if need be. I'll keep playing this hole until we determine a winner and find out who is the most accurate and longest. That's 10 big points up for grabs. Let's find out. First up is the Tour Edge Exotics. Big draw on that one as I had a 99 club head speed, ball speed 144, smash 1.46, estimated carry and roll 248. Here we go again with that one. Another big draw that's running. That was club head speed 97, ball speed 140, smash 1.44, estimated carry and roll 237. All right, I'm gonna hit two with the Cobra and then we'll come back to this club. That one was heading towards the bunker, but a good shot. Club head speed 96, ball speed 142, smash factor 1.48, SMA carry and roll 243. I think it's just short of that bunker. All right, let's hit another one. That one definitely not as good of a strike. It was low on the face, a little slightly heel side but I would take that drive. Club head speed 96, ball speed 138, smash 1.43, estimate carry and roll 231. It did lose height, but it still went in a pretty good direction. All right, we're switching back to the Tour Edge Exotics here for two shots. Okay, on that one, club head speed 99, ball speed 140. Smash, 1.42, estimated carry and roll, 237. One more with that one. Gosh, I gotta say, I hit this club so well. Club head speed, 95, ball speed, 137, smash, 1.44, estimated carry and roll, 228. Two more with the Cobra, and then we're gonna go pick these things up. That one was yanked left into the trees. Club head speed 98, ball speed 143, smash 1.46, estimate carry and roll 243. One more ball here. All right, right side there, kind of towards that bunker. Club head speed 96, ball speed 141, smash 1.48. Feels so good. Estimate carry and roll 239. Guys, we may have our answer here. Let's go find out. Guys, I am now ready to call one of the categories here. We're going to give the Tour Edge Exotics five points for accuracy. I've got to say, it's a very impressive driver because the Cobra in its own right is super accurate and super forgiving. But I think the Tour Edge Exotics has it beat. I think we've seen that here today pretty consistently from hole to hole. This is going to be fun. All of these balls very close to each other. They're all within, I would say, gosh, I don't know, like within five yards of each other. One here, two here, literally next to each other. One right up there by the bunker. Over here, let me zoom in for you. We've got one there, one there, and one there. And of course, we've got that one way off into the woods there. All right, let's see where we're at in terms of distance. Again, it's gonna be better distance because we had the wind behind us there. That is a Cobra at 249. Guys, that looks to be the shortest of all these drives here. Walking over here, these two are right next to each other. They're both standing at 251. On my right, a Torridge Exotics. On my left, a Cobra. Wow. Okay. Now, over here, just shy of the bunker. Just shy of the bunker. That's 256. That looks like a Cobra to me, guys. 256. All right, we've got those balls now. Let's get the four that are on this side. Guys, it took me a little while to find this. We are pretty far left of the fairway here. But it's pretty deep, 256, 
that is that Cobra 257 now. All right, that was definitely the shot that I hit with good swing speed and everything, good smash factor, but I definitely pulled that one left. That may have been more the swinger than the club though, so it's hard to really rule that one in. I think these three balls are gonna tell the tale though. Again, here's the three. One, two, three. These are better shots here. At 261, that's a Tor Edge Exotics right there. All right, we've got two balls left, guys. Two balls left. Gotta be really close to each other. At 269, now 270, that's a Tor Edge Exotics right there. Now 271, it just clicked up another here. And this one, the big dog, there you have it guys, 271 Tor Edge Exotics. That means the C722 moves on in our driver bracket. I'm sure there are quite a few of you here that did not expect that one, including myself. And that's why you've got to take the clubs out here and test them. Some pretty amazing results, guys, throughout this entire bracket. It's only going to get better as we move into the finals. First, we got to see who the Tour Edge Exotics is going to face in our Mizuno STZ220 versus Callaway Rogue ST video. That's coming up next on the channel. That's gonna be a good one. And if you missed any of these, I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple of videos to my left and right here that you should check out because this has been a pretty thrilling battle. Things are gonna heat up. We're gonna have a winner real soon here, guys. Hit subscribe and I'll catch you back here very soon on another edition of Let's Play Through.